What's up, Fig Fam? So today I'm going to do a special unboxing of the WWE Stack Down Series 1 Blind Bag Rumble Collection figures. Um, I recently, I have some of these, but I recently was able to get the whole box for, I think it was like $8 shipped. Um, crazy. My friend uh, Joe, who, who gets all the deals and he knows how to find all these warehouses and, and stuff that sells these things for real cheap, I was able to get the whole box for, um, like I said, like eight bucks, I think it was, eight dollars and some change. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to unbox and unbag all these blind bags. And if you stay tuned at the end of the video, I'm going to have a special uh, giveaway for some of the figures and I'm going to show you how to, you know, try and win some of them. Uh, so let's get right into it. The box pops out. And it's a cool little display case. So we're gonna leave that up. And uh, all right, let's get into it. So the first one, there's the whole crew in the back. You get John Cena, uh, The Rock, Sting, Jake the Snake, Undertaker, Sin Cara. Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, John Cena, Sheamus, Roman Reigns. And like I said, this is the Rumble Collection, which were the ones that were exclusive to Walgreens. Um, so let's get into it. How do I open these? I forget. Let me it like this. And there's no thing to cut it, so I'm just going to cut it open. these had tear spots on them so the first figure that we got is the undertaker the dead man that's got a pretty cool head scan on there face scan painting whatever you want to call this All right, he's in his in his jacket gimmick very cool put him over there now each blind bag comes with a um, checklist chart of all the guys that I named already and some sets that came out. Now as you know these aren't produced anymore but I just thought this would be fun to do it on video. Let's see who's the next one we got. Roman Reigns, but his hair fell off. Boom. The big dog. Ooh, daddy. Put him over there. Put another one up. And next up we got D. Bry, Daniel Bryan. up is Sin Cara. He's in the red. He's got his jacket, which I thought was a cool touch. They did that because um, easily they could have just cut the jacket because this is actually from the um, the smack the stack down set for Sin Cara where he's like a flyer. So you easily could have cut the jacket, but they left it on there. Thought that was a nice touch. Now I have most of these, like I said. I'm really just looking for the exclusives. Um, I never got the Sting, and I don't think I ever got the. John Cena, maybe? I can't remember. So next up, we got Sheamus. I really thought they did a great job on how these looked and how they um, really did personify the uh, superstar that they were trying to personify. Do one from the back. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of the exclusives because it's in the back. And it's not. It is the reigning defending Barack Lesnar. These things have been sitting in my closet for a while, actually. And I just wanted to get it out of my closet so I could open them up and just really drain it from my closet and not have them in there. Next up, we got... The great one. Now, I really like this figure. 
even though it doesn't look a whole lot like him and they didn't do the people's eyebrow, um, I thought it was cool that they included his tattoos. Try and get to zoom in on there. It's hard to get to focus because it's so small. There it is. There's Brahma Bull. And so I just thought that was like a cool touch. Next up, we got the man I was looking for. Man, this one is awesome. Sting. Now that's a great likeness that they did. And I understand it's easy because he has a painted face and everything, but I mean, the eyes, even the wrinkles in his face, the nose looks awesome. The hair, <laughs> not so much. Pretty sure that's not Sting's airline, but whatever. Not bad for cheap blind bag figures, I think. Who's this? Who's this? Uh, uh, uh. John Cena. This is the John Cena I needed, actually. Um, not that it's anything special, but it's got the You Can't See Me hat, the dog tags, the face does not really look like him. Um, it's really a very, very basic, basic um, figure, but you know, if you want to have them all, you got to get them all. Who's this? Who's this? Another John Cena. Except this is the one with the You Can't See Me t-shirt. The You Can't See Me 10 uh, wristbands. They did a really good job actually on the detail of his attire. Because it's very fine and small. But they did a great job actually. Really cool. Come on, Cena. There we go. I know everybody wants the Jake the Snake from this set. And here he is. Um, I thought they did a cool job with like his curls in the front and the likeness on his face. They even got his face on the tights. Only thing I, th I think they should have done was maybe had a, a, a snake to go along with him. Even if it was small, I think that would have been cool. And last but not least, this has got to be Randy Orton, and it is. Boom. I thought he's cool. I mean, the, the face I think is a little weird, with, like how they did the the beard and everything. But um, there's his chest. Like he's got the decals on his tights. Even on the back, they put Orton, which I thought was a nice touch because usually with these on the back, they don't put anything. But they didn't leave out the Orton for him, which I thought was really great. Now. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for these figures on my Instagram. What I want you to do if you want to enter to get them is you have to go on my Instagram, follow my Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel, take a screenshot of your page where it shows that you're subscribed to my channel, and I want you to DM that to me. Send me the screenshot showing that you subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you'll automatically be entered. Um, I'll figure out a date of when I'm gonna uh, do the drawing, probably around mid-April. I'll give you guys a couple weeks. Um, and yeah, and then the person who wins will get to have some of these figures. Um, I'll be doing a post on my Instagram soon, so head over there now, now follow it, give me a follow on there, and keep an eye out for that post. Now next up, before I end the video, um, you guys know I'm big on displaying things, and since I got this box, I was like, I have to display these in this box, but I couldn't figure out how I was gonna do it. And then I was at the dollar store, and I saw that they had Lego bricks for a dollar. So I made a tiered Lego brick um, display that fits perfectly in this box. And it literally cost me four bucks. So total, all of this cost me 12 bucks. So I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be displaying all of these figures in the 
um, Rumble Collection display case. I thought it would be really cool. So, now what I'm going to do is we're going to put them in there. Alright, so there's the finished display, and there you have it. I've done all the unboxings on unbaggings on these Stack Down Series 1 Rumble Collections from Walmart, uh, Walgreens. Um, so, like I said, head over to my Instagram, give me a follow on there, make sure you subscribe to this channel, take a screenshot, DM it to me, and you'll be entered into the contest to win some of these um, Stack Down figures. Um, I'm not sure which ones yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to let people decide. I'm not sure if I'm going to have one or two winners. Um, so head over there for the official rules, and uh, good luck. All right. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at at FigHeel or at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And also check out Amazon.com for my new book, The Unreleased Wrestling Figures Coloring Book Volume 1, for $9.99, including prime shipping.